Hey guys, uh, a while ago, well not that long ago, um, I was out here with Amy and we were catching opali using bread. So today, we're going to change it up and we have some bread, but what we're going to try first is uh, green peas. So we're going to try using green peas, see if we can catch us a few opali today. We're just here in Long Beach at the marina, Shoreline Marina, just uh, hanging out on the back of the boat. Not going to take the boat out today, just going to fish right here on the back of the boat using green peas, trying to catch some opali. Let's see if we get some. Hey guys, we're back on my boat, and the other day we showed you how to catch fish or opali using bread. Today, using green peas. And I just got bit on one. Been fishing here for about 20 minutes. Here's my opali. Not a big one, still a nice fish. Like I showed you the other day, you can catch these on bread all day long, but it's easy to keep a can of green peas in your boat or in your tackle box in case you run out of bread. Nice little fish. Go ahead and take the hook out of this guy. And with the peas, I'm using a smaller hook. This is a size 10 live bait hook. It's really small. Go ahead and let him go. Another one. There we go. Not a monster, but a nice little play. And again, just really simple catching them on green peas. And what I'm going to do after I release this guy is I'm going to try salmon eggs. I haven't tried salmon eggs yet for opali, but I'm going to try that next. All right, let's see if I can get another one. Amy's got one here on a green pea. Nice little opali. You gonna take the hook out or you need help? You know, just so you want me to help you? Yes. Okay guys, as you can see, we're catching these opali using those green peas. But uh, I'm going to switch over to salmon eggs and see if I can catch one on salmon egg where we call it a day here. But uh, so far we learned the last couple of weeks, they really like the bread and they like the green peas too. And what's nice about the green peas, you buy one of those cans, leave it on your boat, leave it in your tackle box. It's not going to go bad and uh, you can fish with it. Works out good. If you get real desperate, you can eat it too. All right, let me try a uh, salmon egg, see if I can catch me an opali. Okay, Amy's got another one. It's a bigger one. Oh, the bird's looking at it. This is a big one. Nice big opali. Another one on green peas. Get him. Grab the line. Another nice one on green peas. And this is the bait. Right here. This can of green peas equals an opali. Like that. Alright, let's let them go. Amy's going to go ahead and let this one go. There he goes. Nice job. There we go. Come on, get out of that rock. Oh, there we go. Oh, a nice one. It's a bass. It's not an opali. Okay, what's so unique about this one, Dan? This is a spotted bay bass. A nice big bass, legal sized bass that I caught on salmon eggs. Salmon eggs. I was trying to catch an opali and the spotted bay bass came by, grabbed my bait, and while I was talking to Amy, had the rod down laying on the side, 
the rod went off the boat flying <laughs> and I used a bucktail and caught the rod and got it back. And the fish was still on the rod. And the fish was still on there. Oh, it's a sand bass. Oh, that was a spotted bait. No, it's a spotted bait bass. Got all the dots on there. Nice spotted bait bass. Go ahead and let this guy go. Wow. <laughs> I just want to show you how easy it is to catch opali. Like we showed you last time, you can use bread. And today we showed you you can use peas. For uh, more fishing tips, subscribe right here to my YouTube channel. And thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you all soon.